Let's talk about the solar controller that I have for the van. Hi, this is Gail. Welcome back to my channel. And install the solar charge controller in the van. I'm going to let him explain it to us. And I will be right back. Hey, YouTube. This is John. Uh, Gail asked me to tell you guys about our charge controller and our system. The uh, kit we got was a Renogy kit. It came with a 100-watt Renogy solar panel up on our roof. Came with a couple of wires and our trusty charge controller. First thing I was looking for or needed to know was why do I need a charge controller? Well, the solar panel puts out different uh, voltages depending on how much sun's hitting it. And what the charge controller does is it turns into a steady 12 volt stream so it can charge your batteries. And then it kind of keeps keeps track of that, tells you how, how full your batteries are and it manages them, it takes care of them. It'll equalize them and, and do some good stuff like that you can look up but it takes care of the battery bank and makes sure they don't get overcharged and stuff. And it also, when you're, when you're using power, the charge controller will kind of balance the power coming in from the, sol from the solar panels and coming up from your battery bank so you can have a, uh, an even draw and you won't, you, well, you won't lean on your batteries too terribly much. So it's a really necessary thing to have and a lot of kits come with those. Now there are two major types of charge controllers. This one is a PWM, uh, power, Pulse Width Modulation. The other kind is an MPPT. Um, I forgot what that stands for. The M this is the less expensive of the two. Uh, this is a PWM with LCD screen. I don't know what brand it is. It doesn't really say. The This is uh, the European equivalent of the U Underwriter's Laboratory thing. So it means it's not going to burst into flames. But I don't really have a, a name for it. But it came with the kit. And we'll link that down below. So... Um, the other kind is um, is really better if you've got a bigger system uh, for our 100 watt system right now. This is doing this is doing fine. It really is. But what it does is it takes the power coming from the from the solar panels uh, through our ceiling, and yeah, I need to make that prettier. But anyway, yes, you uh, do. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, and the power from the panels comes in right here with our little uh, power in icon, and then it manages it. And I'll tell you what all that stuff is right here in a moment. Uh, this, these lines go down to our batteries, where our, um, where our, um, power is being stored. Okay, start that again, and I'll clip that little part out. Okay. Transitioned. Uh, these first two things are where the power comes in from the solar panel. It's got icons on it that really aren't showing up terribly well. Yeah, okay, there we go. The solar panel symbol, battery symbol, and then load or power out, sent out symbol. So the power comes in from here. These are 10 gauge wires, by the way. That's what is recommended and also the biggest gauge that the uh, charge controller will fit. We bought those separately. So power coming in, then power going down to the batteries, where we store the power, and then we have power going out. Now, I chose this charge controller because it's got this, this multifunction display on it. So let me get that in focus. Uh, right now, the batteries have 13.6 volts which is fully charged for a 12 volt battery. Isn't that weird? But yeah, right now, and oh, this is our, our scroll button. It, it can go tell, scroll through and tell you several different things about the system. And this button is our load on and off. So if you wanted to turn off your output, uh, you can do that. So let's see, we've got, right now, the panel's putting out 21 volts and that would fry our batteries. So that's why you need to have something between your solar panels and whatever you're using them on. If you plug your phone into that, it would absolutely fry it. So output of 21 volts, output of 0.62 amps right now. Um, it might be put, it might could put out more, but I don't have much of a draw. F batteries are fully charged. Batteries at 13.7 volts. And right now I'm just using a half an amp. So I've got my chart, my phone plugged in charging. Handy thing to do. So this single single piece of equipment right here the pwm slash lcd charge controller uh that tells me all of that and manages my batteries and uh also manages my my solar panels to keep everything safe so i've been very happy with this, this is a been a really good system for us uh we've run like uh, phones and interior lights and uh the occasional electric blanket this system's been uh great great for us we'll probably upgrade our, our battery bank and some stuff like that but that's for another video but uh, again, PWM slash LCD, so you can see what's going on. Uh, and it came with our Renogy 100 watt solar panel kit. Um, 
Renji's got a whole bunch of kits. You can get kind of what, pretty much whatever you need. Uh, but yeah, they can have a kit that's got everything, everything included. So we're very happy with it. Now we've had this system in place for about a year and it's been problem free and maintenance free. So that tells you about the charge controller. If you have questions, leave them in the comments down below. You can also tweet me or email me, but probably the best thing to do is to leave it in the comments so you can get some interaction from other people who've seen the video and we can share ideas and share the knowledge. We'll come back at another day in the future and we'll do a video so you can see the solar panel that we have on the roof and he can explain to you about how we installed that. So thanks for watching about the how to do a so how to install a solar controller on the van and why you need a solar controller. I hope it's been helpful. Leave your comments again down below. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you out about and online. Have a bodacious day. Bye.